ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton and I are both here tracking all the major developments and we're keeping an eye on this big number. 172,000 Americans are now initiating COVID-19 vaccinations each day. That is down from 2 million daily during the peak in April. The current rate nearing its lowest point since shots were first introduced last December. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Jen, this is a big headline today. The CDC issuing a health advisory regarding pregnant women and the COVID vaccine. Right. And this is not good numbers we're seeing there. No, either. it is not. So in terms of numbers, first of all, 4 million live births in the United States every year. So the CDC issuing this urgent health alert late yesterday, strongly recommending the COVID-19 vaccine before becoming pregnant or in any trimester during pregnancy. They are saying the benefits of the vaccine clearly outweigh any known or potential risks associated with it. Remember, there are two patients' lives at stake, the mother and the fetus. At this point, in terms of those bad numbers you were mentioning, Amy, only 31% of pregnant people have been vaccinated thus far. There have been more than 125,000 cases, more than 22,000 hospitalizations, and unfortunately, at least 161 deaths. It's a very vulnerable population. COVID-19 is very dangerous for pregnant women, and that's why they should talk to their midwives or obstetricians and get that vaccine. But as you've said, this is crystal clear that yeah. this is what pregnant women should be doing to protect their lives and their unborn There is lives. uniform agreement and consensus. ACOG and CDC get vaccinated. All right, Dr. Jen, we know. Uh, hope more, more women will listen. Yep. Uh, we appreciate that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.